this demonstration, we're going to go through installing the new Store Server Management Console 2.0 on uh, both Linux and Windows 2012. I'll post the supported versions right here. Okay, but for today, I'm using a clean install of CentOS 64-bit uh, version 6.6. 6. Okay. So I've already got the uh, CD mounted. It's a clean install. So I'm just going to go to the CD. There we go. And I want to run this file with this HPB extension. First thing we're going to have to do is accept the license agreement. We'll have to select the uh, port, the secure port that it's going to communicate on, which is 8443. You can change it later if you want. It's the port. Um, I don't have enough resources in my lab system, but that's no big deal. That's what that warning was. almost ready I'm going to go ahead and launch my web browser just because this is a uh, clean install of CentOS and the first time I launch the web browser it gets real well glitchy see how slow everything is trying to pull in everything I just need to see if I can get it to close Whoa. Now the port started. We're going to launch the web browser again. There we go. See? Snap here. Then we'll go to um, HTTPS colon slash slash localhost colon 8443. And we'll have to set up the administrative permissions uh, first. And this is just permissions into the administrator console, not into your frame. This just allows you to log into the administrator console so you can add or remove systems from the SSMC. All right, so let's set those credentials. Remember, your login is admin. You're going to need that when you log in here. So remember, admin. <clears throat> there we go. So here's where you're going to add and remove frames with this action button. So we'll go add. And you can put in the DNS name or the IP address. And then this would be your uh, login, administrator login credentials into your frame, uh, which you would normally log in with uh, on the SSMC. And we're going to see uh, it's trying to connect, or we're going to get some errors here because um, the certificate acceptance is required. So just go back up into the actions pane here, and we're going to say accept certificate. Okay, and if you want to see what's going on, we can pull this 
bar here, we can see that it's connected to this frame, 63. And it had trouble with this because I misplaced the IP address. It's supposed to be 67. So we'll just add that back in. Add. Just like with the uh, regular M4 management console, you can have up to 16 three bar arrays in this management. And we're gonna have to accept the certificate on this one too. So just select that. You can see that this one, now that we've accepted the certificate, is connected. So we're gonna accept this, or accept this one. Got a little delay here, sorry about that. Okay, and then you'll it'll give us a little readout here as it's uh, trying to reconnect to it. And of course, if you want to see what's going on, you just pull this little window here over. So the certificate was accepted. Okay, so once this is all connected, then we just have to uh, go back to this console and we can log into these. So I'm not logging into the administrator console, I'm actually logging into the arrays at this point. Okay, they're both connected. I can go ahead and just close this. Let's make that bigger for you. And log in, fine. And this will pull up our dashboard. There we go. So we'll have a quick view as it updates all the data here, two systems, status, capacity, efficiency, device types, and historical capacity. And I'll just pull this down so you can see the menu here, activity, schedule, settings, uh, if you're going to do provisioning, here's your common provisioning group, virtual volumes, uh, storage system information, uh, system reporter right here you have to uh, there's no reports in there by default you'll have to uh, select that and create your own custom reports uh, remote copy configuration and of course uh, your normal security stuff setting up LDAP and creating new users with roles okay so now we'll uh, jump over to uh, Windows 2012 and we'll just install it there on Linux, let's go ahead and do the same thing on our clean install of Windows <coughs> Server 2012. Accept the license. Here's the uh, secure port. <clears throat> like I said, you can go in later and change that if you want to.
running. And just like before, the first thing we have to do is create the uh, <coughs> admin console login. Pardon me. <coughs> so set those credentials. Admin. I'm assuming you could change this, but it doesn't, well, I guess not, because I can't select it. All right, well, now we both know. All right, so let's log in. Whoa. And just like before, we'll add frames. This will be your login for those frames. And this will be a new install, so we're going to have to go through and accept the certificates on those. Accept in cache. And accept certificate cache. Just waiting for this one to connect real quick. There we go. Okay, now I can close this and we'll just log in. And here's our dashboard. And the pull down menu. Exactly the same. I'll do a a uh, later video and we'll talk about provisioning with the new management console. Thanks a lot.